Why don't we do a little Trump content? Matt, how's that sound? Yeah, he's back, folks. Um, yeah. We actually get to see this guy. He's still alive. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't. I think maybe we can cut, leave the commentary until after we play this video. But uh, it, it, we should just note that it is at Mar-a-Lago, so he's not going to make his return at you know a place that he's not going to cash in on. Um, and it is at a wedding for a Florida car salesman. So yeah. Um, just so you guys know, this is not his wax figure from the Disney Hall of Presidents come to life, even though they are sharing the same outfit. Yeah, visually, it really looks like that. But if you listen to it, um, it sounds like the old Trump that we uh, knew and hated. So. You know, I just got, I turned off the news. I get all these flash reports and they're telling me about the border. They're telling me about China. They're telling me about Iran. How are we doing with Iran? How do you like that? Well, they were ready to make it. You know, they would have done anything. They would have done anything. And this guy goes and drops the sanctions. And then he says, we'd like to negotiate now. We're not dealing with the United States. They don't want to, they don't want to deal with us. In China, the same thing. They never treated us that way, right? You saw what happened a few days ago, it was terrible. And uh, the border's not good. The border is the worst anybody's ever seen it. And what you see now, multiply it times 10, Jim. You would know how to handle it. He's the only one I know that might handle the border tougher than me. But we have to, and the tough is in the most humanitarian way, because that's what it is. What's happening to the kids, the living squalor, they are living like nobody has ever seen anybody. There's never been anything like what's so, And you're going to have hundreds, and you have it now. They have the airplane photos, the shops, and they call them shops. And these things. Well, it just goes on and on like that. Um, you know, it's fairly customary when you're giving a speech at a wedding to reference the people getting married. Not really Trump's way. He'd rather just do a rally speech in a tuxedo at a random wedding in mar-a-lago it's interesting the impulse that he still has the oh we do it we'd be tough but in a humanitarian way which shows that that's not really campaign trump that's just trump wanting to make sure he doesn't offend all like the more like maybe the uh, wives in the audience that might be offended by such like naked cruelty right right it, it just it's it's also pretty sad because you can hear kind of the bustling of waiters and people eating their food and all the still a bit more he wants a collection of warm bodies in order to relive the glory days and yet he's just standing there swaying about with the microphone doing retreads slurring old things he used to say it's like a washed up football star wearing his Leatherman jacket at 35 and going back and, you know, doing Jaeger shots with the high school kids in the back of the parking lot. That's the vibe I get. And also, I wish the Biden administration was being as weak on Iran as uh, Trump uh, is implying. Exactly. I mean, we're going to, we're going to, yeah, continue. Things are showing thousands and thousands of people coming up from South America. And it's going to be, it's just, uh, Look, it's a disaster. It's a humanitarian disaster from their standpoint, and it's going to destroy the country. And frankly, the country can't afford it because you're talking about massive, just incredibly massive amounts, our school systems, our hospital systems, everything. So it's a rough thing. And I just say, do you miss me yet? Do you miss me? saying we did get 75 million votes nobody's ever gotten that they said get 66 million votes sir and the election's over well i got 75 million and they said but you know you saw what happened 10 30 in the evening all of a sudden they said That's a strange thing. why are they closing up certain places right you know a lot of things happening right now i just wanted to say it's an honor to be here it's an honor to have you at mar-a-lago you are a great and beautiful couple Many, many years of oh my God. You know, also another good rule of thumb for speeches is you don't just abruptly segue into something that was completely irrelevant. 
Perhaps he could have been more artistic with this and tried to tie the crisis at the border or the fact that obviously the election was stolen from him into how the bride stole the groom's heart, just like the election was stolen, or how they'll cross into each other's lives, like the massive amounts of illegal immigrants who are crossing the border. I mean, just like make it contextual, dude. You just, it, it, otherwise, it's just like, come on, come on, grandpa, time. Yeah. Talking. Well, what's happening at the border is a massive repudiation of the hard uh, carceral approach on these sorts of things, because it's going to cause a massive backlog that border crossing should be treated like an administrative uh, procedure, not a criminal one. And that this is what happens when you do that. And both parties, unfortunately, are willing to play into it. And until we can break out of that mindset, this is what's going to happen. So, you know, he can, it's, it's funny him doing what, like, um, and I obviously, I think, I, I, yeah, I don't know, like the, he wants to do it with humanitarian, in a more humanitarian way. Like, what would that have looked like? Why didn't you do that in four years? Yeah, yeah. And you're exactly right. Again, he's critiquing just the effects of the small thinking nature of the um, and a non-systemic uh, nature of the way the Biden administration is approaching immigration, and then, and then also Iran. You mentioned it before we went back to the video, but none of these things that he's saying about the extreme nature of the Biden administration are true. And in fact, they've been center-right on immigration, center-right on foreign policy. I mean, we're going to praise, and we have praised, the... Uh, the stimulus package and for the fact that Biden hasn't shied away and he seems to be doing, uh, trying to go big on infrastructure too. But in terms of those two topics, it's been same old, same old and not in a good way.